Hi everyone, the proper intro will be in a little bit, but I did want to preface this video by saying, again, sorry for the really long break, I, I apologize for that, the actual intro, but it's been extra long because I had computer problems with this one. The original file, actually the video file, completely corrupted and deleted itself. I played for two and a half hours and it was all gone. Um, but because I record my commentary separately, I was able to keep the original commentary. If you've watched any of my Mass Effect Andromeda videos, you've probably heard this spiel before, but there was like a 30 hour, like bunch of hours in Andromeda where I kept, the, I had the original commentary, but I didn't have the um, original game audio, but what happened with this is that basically I did what I did before where I just listened to my original commentary and replayed and like re-recorded this segment of the Witcher stuff, so, so there's gonna, be, it's gonna be a little bit jump cutty because it's me trying to cut the cut my commentary to make sure it fits up properly with the scenes and um and kind of spread things out and there was one or two things there was like a a section in the town where like i couldn't find this building again that i had found before and that i was like going crazy over i don't know but i'll, I'll probably explain it when i get to that point um there's not going to be a whole lot of um titles and stuff like that it's not a whole lot of um like explanatory little notes I guess throughout the video because for the most part most of it's actually cutscenes which is actually really easy to sync up my audio to. It's just in the beginning a little bit where there's some a little bit a couple things cut out just like little tiny things and kind of uh, amended audio but um, the video itself is fine, the quality is fine, I was able to fix the audio problem uh, or the corruption problem or the audio problem um, and everything should be fine from here on out but that's why this one of the reasons why this video took so long. Um, I hope I hope you still enjoy it. I had a really good time making. It. I even enjoyed re-recording it because I really like Regis. He's really cool. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I can't think of anything exceptional of exceptional note that needs to be mentioned. But if there's anything kind of weird, believe me, it's like any weird jump cutting things. It's there for a reason. But yes, uh, thank you. And the real intro will start momentarily. Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Witcher 3, where it's really late at my house tonight, so I might be a little tiny bit quieter, which, you know, is not super likely, but who knows? Um, make sure sound is, yeah, everything's good. Um, still kind of paranoid from that one time, but, uh, we're gonna meditate really quick. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody's, uh, holiday or weekend or whatever was really good. Sorry for a bit of the break, but, you know, my upload schedule sucks anyway, so, you know, you guys know how it is. You must allow the Witcher to fly his trade. Hmm. I'm watching your Look at them get on their horses! Well, yeah. Alright, so time to go meet my best friend again. This is a part of the quest. Sir, oh, please sir, don't talk to me. Please don't talk to you, me. Sir. Letter. Don't talk to me. Where from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Goodness gracious, I love Geralt. He's beautiful. Here. Thanks. I know, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be off surface again. Ah, it's just five gold or whatever. Dearest, it's nice to tip I suspect the kids who weighty bring affairs stuff. rather than merely the wine festival have drawn you to Tucson. Oh, perhaps you find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. Yennefer. I recently right? came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. We've got. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found Hi, in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter well, could you, prove of some importance to you. Thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, Please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Uh, uh, 
professor who studied witcher mutations. Might actually be worth looking into. It probably has a bunch of actually terrible, terrible things. Like, you know, like that one where we saw where somebody was researching. Something witcher? Was that truly necessary? Um... <clears throat> And they like experimented on witchers and drove them insane and stuff. Mm. Okay, here's a part really quick where I actually this is that what I, part that I mentioned at the beginning where I found like a like an infirmary type area and then I couldn't find it again. So I make some like comments and stuff on it. I'm pretty sure I took most of those out. Um, some things are a little bit out of sync. Uh, as you may have noticed, just where it's like you know I'm running around and I point out something but it's not there on the screen. I, I left in a couple of those. I didn't think it'd be too big of a deal. Um, but if there's any confusion, it's because at the time of the original recording, I was looking at a different screen. <laughs> I was looking at something else, a, a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, this is, I did think this part, with this right and what you're looking at right now is me just kind of being frustrated that I couldn't find that infirmary again. And then I decided to explore this little area that was here that I thought looked really cool. It was like a toy store and like a clothes store and it looked really cool. And I just really love the detail that they put in this game. It's great. So yeah. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask, but for now, and this is the only big part that was like, you know, really noticeable, something's missing. But yeah, so there you go. We'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming momentarily. I love that you can just walk into these houses. Like, like, like somebody spent so much time rendering this infirmary. Like, not just the downstairs, right? But this upstairs that you don't even have to go into, at least as far as I'm aware. It might be part of a quest later. I want to make Grandmaster stuff. When do I get to do that? Let me make Grandmaster stuff. <sighs> no, just Mastercrafted. Quest. Jeez. Why wars? Why wa whoa, 30, 36? I can't even talk right now, it's fine. Everyone who has a passing acquaintance with Geralt of Rivia knows it was very rare for the Witcher to be paid before completing a contract. Retainers or down payments, however, were another story. Those would often be given him by the best of employers, those who had no intention of backing out of their side of the bargain and who wanted the job done and done well above all else. In this regard, Anna Henrietta, st Henry Anna Henrietta stood out as one of the best employers Ger Geralt had ever had. Why is that, you ask, dear reader? Why, because in exchange for agreeing to kill the Beast of Beauclair, she gave Geralt the deed to the Corvo Bianco vineyard and promised further payment in gold as soon as Geralt completed the job. Say what you will about her, but no one can deny that Henrietta's generosity. Okay, the Beast and Geralt's clash had been violent, albeit brief. Now with it done, Geralt could have a chat with his long-lost friend Regis. And a, a higher vampire, Regis revealed that the creature terrorizing Beauclair was none other than his dear friend Detlef. <laughs> Detlef. Geralt now understood he was pursuing a truly dangerous foe, a higher vampire, one of Regis's ilk. Then the Witcher and the vampire heard a clown. A posse was drawing near, so Geralt and Regis cut their conversation short. Preferring not to draw any attention, the vampire disappeared, but not before inviting the Witcher to pay him a visit at temporary quarters he'd established at the local cemetery. You had better believe it. Mere la chalon. Long of. Friggin', I am legitimately trying to pronounce these words, and I cannot. My mom yes. learned Spanish and French, and uh, she learns French first for a couple years. And then she, she learned Spanish, because my dad's fluent in Spanish. Um, she apparently was told that she spoke beautiful Spanish with a... She spoke Spanish with a beautiful French accent. It was, it was really funny. Oh, it's like, uh, the, ooh, this is, ooh, this is like when I went to Germany, though. Oh, that's pretty. That part of, like, like, this is decorations for the wine festival, maybe? Yeah, my gosh, Carol, you're right, those are nice, too. He's eating a baguette! The guardsman's eating a baguette! Ah! <laughs> what? He's eating a baguette. Don't try to hide.
hide it. Don't try to hide your baguette in your pants. Don't try. No, man. I saw you. You can't. No, no, no. I saw that. You can't hide it from me. Ooh, pretty parasol. Her dress is really pretty too. I really like it. Wait, lady. I'm trying to look at your dress. That's really pretty. I like the bottom part. The top part's kind of. It's whatever. The bottom part is very pretty. And wine council. Hello. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf. Here in Tucson. Greetings. What are you? I'm Lazala. How do you know? Geralt of Rivia. Seem You're a grandmaster, accused. aren't you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He's a grandmaster. Brother, uh, mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armor person, and I yes! for years sought diagrams for which armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them? Never seen any though. Thought they were lost. Not quite, for I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished. But I know where. I'll get them. I'll get them for you right now, Broski. To help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do trapped. I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking uh, sure. them? Sure, once you have a, no, a stationary job. Carol's like, oh yeah. Someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. It's like one o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna be playing Witcher for like three hours. Like, I was like, an hour! I'll go talk to Regis and do something. No. I knew, but I knew I was gonna play for like three or four hours. Like, I'm so stoked. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa? How is that even possible? Tusa was really? once home to Tien Sai, a This guy knows his stuff. Now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their maid. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged a king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune. So and we're gonna the look at the old they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at no. Genside. So no, I you heard didn't. stories of the missing witch's first hand. What he told me. Well, Broski, Broski, I'm so stoked. You don't even know. You don't myself. even know right now. We must strike. You don't even just tell me. I shall tell you all. Yes, yes, I yes, know. yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Once you mm -hmm. found mm -hmm. the diagrams, you will let me draft Hell the yeah. copy. Oh god. I want to do it, but I want to hear all the info too. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then helped. began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take wow. me on as his apprentice. That's wow. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished uh, in a massacre later, slain by so racists. So much, so much Though loss he taught that. me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor Broski? of Master quality, we're gonna fulfill our dreams together. I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school. Of so wolf, is it a complete set Griffin, from each one? Cat, bear, and manticore. Wolf. Which should I start with? Wait, oh boy. Please don't tell me that I oh boy, do I have to find the boots and the gloves and the pants and the shirt and the and the sword and the other sword for each school because I will cry. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe How yet old are you guys? 
A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Grob. Archaeology! They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared oh, without boy. a trace. Um. I guess we'll get them all here while we're here. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago. But my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues oh. were. He had like taken Geralt. on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa. Isn't it crazy how fast but things go? It was only 200 years, but the fort is now a ruin, you know? Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell oh, him that's the, the for school. A wow, that's the school that was like the trader school, right? Would have been helpful in and to sell witcher the gear to outsiders. Saw. Was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I oh. would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers <laughs> never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, and the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the witcher had indeed accepted a job. So a lot of witchers... Have... That was I thought Geralt and him, and them were like the last or something, you know? That's sort of the impression I got, but apparently there's a couple that were alive. School of the Manticore. Probably Manticore, the though. It, though once, long ago, Ooh, did I? Some armor forged there. My master Ooh, said the Manticore had their witchers. fortress in the far east. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf hmm. and still. And uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze Probably murdered a bunch of them then. with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy prison. Yeah, your guys' is, your guys' is country well, is falling it's apart. It's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Gotta sell some of uh, my stuff. What do you have on offer?
No, I can't sell that one to you. Mm. Oh wow, you have a lot of money. Excellent, I'm getting lots of money back. are cool <gasps> I like the horns oh but they're expensive oh man oh but some of this is really nice looking hmm. I am probably gonna regret spending this money but I want that one and that one. <laughs> oh, I can sell these thank you my man I really want to see the mantle well. stuff Good now. Luck um, on the path. Now I'm totally... Oh yeah, and... I need to equip the bow. Hell yeah, look at that bow. Girl, look at that bow. Yes, cell phone? Am I, am I being awake in two hours or something? Uh, oh, just gotta check my laundry, apparently. Gonna have to summon my horse. Oh my gosh, I have to find all the diagrams in every, every set. Every set. I, okay, well let's, um, what is the... Mm, is it... Suggest level 40? Oh, I'm... Um, it's fine. It's fine. Crap. Do I need that one? I don't think so. I probably do. But I thought I had all the wolf gear stuff upgraded. Hmm. I mean, the other stuff, I'm not surprised, but... Mint core. It's a medium armor. Frick. I'm gonna look up an image. Oh, I don't know about that one. Ah, he looks kind of like Van Helsing. Go to where the art guild is. We're gonna get the wolf gear. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go to where the art guild just can't. Ah, a sucker. For some archaeology. A quap beyond compare. Mm. A witcher? What? Brings peace to our domain. Something, something rotten chain. That's hilarious. We got a little song. What's new, Silverlocks? Looking Ooh. for diversion? Nice! So it's like all terrace vineyards everywhere. Wow, it's so bright here. I like it's actually like ow, it's legitimately hurting my eyeballs. Oh, um, let me call my horse really quick. I wanna see what he looks like. There you are. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was worth every penny roach! Oh my gosh! And the freaking antlers, like the freaking horns, look ah oh gosh! Somehow it matches Run, really roach. well, and like the coloring of the like head thing I've got there worked really well. Oh my gosh, Roach, you look so good. This is what I've been wanting this whole time. This is what, but thank you. Um, well, I guess let's see how long it takes to get go, there. Go, go. Oh, it's gonna take a while. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna ride. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That's a... Uh, oh, crap. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, first we'll go and talk to our friend. Our pally friend. Our pal. Let's go. I at least want to talk to him again, because we only get to talk to him for a second. How far are we now? Not far. I will walk. I want to see the houses. Come on now. Wow, they're so pretty though. Look at the, like it's like a peasant's house, right? Like they don't have a lot of money. 
like, you know, it's not in the best of shape, but they take the time to make beautiful designs, and, like, I, I love that in, um, Novigrad, too, and I think it was Novigrad, you know, Novigrad. one of the first places we were at, like, they cover the walls, and, and I want to know, I want to go over there, and I want to go on that island, but they cover the walls with, like, flowers, and painting of flowers, and... What happened to your head? You know what? You know what? I just I enjoy the pretty colors, sunflowers. Yeah. A day like I'm kind of sad that the sunflowers don't move, but it's okay. Whoa. <laughs> Wherever that is, that looks cool. Like, that looks like an auspicious zone. You know what I mean? Oh. I can hear something. The graveyard! I hope that this is a nice graveyard. No? Not a nice graveyard? How do you attack in this game? What the frick? Are they plants? They're plants! Why would anybody visit the freaking graves? It's a freaking Venus plant trap. Died from an overextension of the mandibles, thinking she was a cow. Are we, we're gonna go through and read all these gravestones. If they're all gonna be dying like that, that's awesome. Oh wow. Thank you for the loot. That was very kind. Only one of you dropped loot? That's fair, it was a lot of loot. Regis. Couldn't have picked some other place to meet. I hear like a dog somewhere. This seems like I'm an odd place for a cemetery, like not very flat. I mean, I guess you make do, and it's like really in disrepair. I guess that's probably why he chose it, because it's not a fairly frequented one. Bard Cook Ping Pong Player. Hey, man. Live your dream. Skated upon legs, stopping others from knocking coal into special nets. Froze to death. A hockeyist. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh no! So they had like, instead of a puck, they had like, coal. Oh, that one doesn't have anything. What's this? Mandrake root? I need me some of that. Art patron stuck his big nose in everywhere. <laughs> uh, it makes sense to find mandrake root in a graveyard, so... Keep moving. Oh, I was like, <laughs> Regis, this is not a very safe place to meet, my, my, my buddy. Knock, knock. Regis! Damn it. Locked. No way I got the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Or I could just wait until nighttime? Oh, I wonder what the other entrance could be. Here? Oh, oh, that's that's creepy. That person. Hold on, is there another ghoul over here? Or are you down underground? Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Equary to the Duquesa. So you died riding a horse. Bum deal. ones. Looks like a flower to me. A hideous, disgusting flower. Blasco Ternabe. Last words. Archaeospores look like gigantic, aesthetically unpleasing flowers with some streets of exceptionally cruel and bloodthirsty sundews. They are, however, far more dangerous than even the most colossal sundew. Their pe peculiar appearance makes them practically impossible to discern amidst other plants. By the time one draws close enough to realize what they are, it's often too late to flee. 
According to popular belief, archaeospores are cursed plants grown in soil fertilized by the blood of the dying. They are most often found in places which in the past saw pogroms, bloody rituals, or cruel murders. Four types of archaeospore have been cataloged to date, differing from one another in terms of coloring. Brown, the least dangerous, green and purple, the most dangerous. The final variant, said to have been cultivated by mages from Banard, is the yellow archaeospore, whose strength is similar to that of its green-colored cousins. Kikimor! The old fool came home all black and blue, claiming Kiki Morris had attacked him in the woods. What did he take me for? His mates worked him over because he cheated at Gwent. If it had been Kiki Morris, he'd be dead, and I'd have peace at last. Kiki Morris formed colonies. They are disgusting. Look at that. That is thing. That is thing. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Um, making them similar to communal insects such as ants. A Kikimor colony is ruled by a queen and organized into something of a social hierarchy. Kikimor workers take care of hunting food and bringing back it to bringing back it, bringing it back to the nest. While Kikimor warriors defend the nest against attackers, a worker on its own can easily be killed by even a weak person or a child. It is rare indeed to come across an isolated individual, for Kikimor workers usually move in groups of a few dozen to or so members. The only defense against a swarm of Kikimor is available to a normal person is to flee. Even that is a guarantee he didn't do anything. Okay, um. Left as a higher vampire, one of the most terrifying creatures the world has ever known. Some vampires of this sort live among men easily and inconspicuously, sometimes even gaining the respect and admiration of their community. Yet even the most civilized vampire can be incredibly dangerous if provoked. In Detlef, Detlef was far from civilized. When in his two-legged form, Detlef strikes a surprising, in surprising and unique ways, so one must be extremely alert and attentive. His razor-sharp claws, wielded with such great strength and precision, are his chief weapons, yet he can also wield weapons of human devising with extraordinary skill. Like all higher vampires, Detlef can turn into fog and envelope opponents. When fighting a vampire in this form, one must watch out for magic puddles and attacks from the air. When wounded, Detlef tends to assume his winged form, using those powerful appendages to send his foes near effortlessly. One must not remember. One must remember, higher vampires are immortal creatures and thus do not fear their lives while fighting, meaning they can take every risk. They are able to turn invisible and can regenerate strength during combat. All in all, they are supremely difficult foes, even for a Witcher. Yeah, they are. Which relic are you? I don't even. I don't know. Maybe it was one of the Shalmar things. Looks like it was. It's not beeping anymore at me. Okay. I was actually curious. Um. I wanted to read about Regis. Looks like he's not on here. Uh, called Anrietta. One time lover of a very famous and talented artist who would prefer to remain anonymous. Ah. <sighs> she was able to throw off the chains of convention and get her hands there with direct acting. Even if she had to do so in a state of relative dishabla. So, uh, disheveledment, I think, is what it was going for there. Oh, there's Regis. Geralt chased Sir Milton's murderer with a mad intensity. How this chase ends standed clear, stands clear as foe as clear witness to the fact that Geralt was facing a highly dangerous foe. The killer led Geralt to an old warehouse where it set a trap for him. Uh, yeah, here I was explaining that years ago, Regis had joined Geralt's band of fellow travelers, of which I was a proud part, and set off with us in search of Ciri. Together, we lived through many fascinating adventures, and Regis proved himself a loyal friend, the kind you can trust your life with your life. Sadly, the expedition ended tragically for Regis. He was killed by a Vilgefort, who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. Hence the Witcher's immense surprise at encountering his old friend. After all, he had seen Regis die with his own eyes. But the thing is, that, this, that was not Regis' final death, nor even his first. As a young man, Regis had been a bit of a free spirit and overindulged in the drinking of blood. This lifestyle had led him to being butchered by angry villagers. Regenerating from that took him 50 years, or nearly no time at all for an immortal. When he was back in full health, he kicked the habit of drinking blood, of blood drinking for good. For years, we'd all thought he was gone forever. Yet there he was, standing in front of Geralt in that dockside warehouse. We just explained he had regenerated and come to do so to, to find Delap, a friend. Such were the dramatic circumstances bringing Regis and Geralt together again in Buclair. They did not have long to enjoy the reunion, however. They could hear others approaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's really attractive when he's not angry. Yum, yum. 
yep, 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 yep. Trap, 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 trap. Safe by Regis. Damien. He's, uh... Say unthinkingly would be unfair, yet not entirely inaccurate, devoted to his position and worship the ground that I just walked on. He was definitely besotted with her. More massive unmentionables? Carol treated this challenge with disp dispassionate superiority, yet accepted it nevertheless, and in doing so, earned himself another enemy. Oh, cool, okay. Uh, we've earned an enemy, apparently. Wow, it's been like... Oh god! Oh wait, oh no! Oh god! There was a reason I was in there. Where's my insectoid? Yeah. Come up. The stone is getting in my way. Please don't hatch. Please don't hatch. Please don't hatch. Please don't hatch. You're welcome. Oh, oh my gosh! Whew. Nice. Okay, all right. I hope you don't mind me just hopping on in here, buddy old pal. Hey Regis, do you wanna go with me to go get some armor? Vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. So I can murder him? I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlov wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Mm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Oh, his hand. Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out, but Bruxa had taken an interest in it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. Hmm. It will do splendidly. This is very interesting. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen. And the ornamentation. It comes from our home. What? Where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's Wait. actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here, guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I in turn gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Hmm. Interesting. I know, because from what we've read, he's uh, he's eschewed the drinking of blood completely. But what's even cooler is that vampires actually did come from a different world. And after the conjunction of the spheres, they were stuck here. So it's not, can a human be made into a vampire? Or do you have to be, like, born? Of, are vampires born? 
Freaking do witchers and sorceresses get infertile, but vampires can have babies? Can't you just summon Deadloff? You're both higher vampires. There's got to be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort. Absolutely. Last resort? The hell. Why? Uh, there is a being who can summon that love. His master? Possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. But the very act of contacting this being, well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it will be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It will be both quicker and easier. Okay. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kobinaris' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant <laughs> bell. Read about it in Alchemia Obliterae. There's a copy of Kermorin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kovinarius never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it. Just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he can Man, being a vampire is nice. And perform the meet first all tests. kinds of people. And... It's complicated. So, without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experience. The Assassin's Creed! Woohoo! You yeah, you need an animus. We must brew a decoction which Kobinaris gave a rather poetic name. Resonance. Ooh. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's Oh my life. gosh, it Any is like we might see what word for word the animus. Before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Deathloss hideout. Are we going to brew it right now? Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's mamoon glands, the closest <laughs> ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. He is so cool. Can we? Yeah, let's leave the hand there. I don't want it in my back pocket anymore. Filling me up. Yeah, stop. Ugh. Ugh. Blah. Can you go outside in the day? Was that a raven rather a common sight at this latitude very intelligent fowl i asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned him and his brethren perhaps they'll find one in the area and i would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would with all due respect to your skills my friend it will take them some time nonetheless so perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake I love ravens. Heck yeah, man, let's drink. No to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather <laughs> kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? Uh. So, think you've set a nice little trap for me? Sorry. Want to get me to confess? Gonna have to try harder. <laughs> I love a challenge. In that case, my ears are cocked. What must I do? <sighs> How about you get the ball rolling? Reveal one of your secrets. Vampires, intriguing creatures, must lead fascinating lives. 
Anything in particular interest you? Uh, yeah, let's do this. Got a new life, a new body. That give you a new start, blank slate. Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity's a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. So, like, he went crazy when he drank blood, and... Does so he can't drink blood at all, otherwise he will probably go insane again. Uh, and he doesn't want to risk that, obviously. But what does he mean by like carry over? Like every time he drinks blood, is he a new person, or like does he like take over somebody else's body or something? Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing. A Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible. As my presence proves. But, but, I've heard you too have quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. For a bit. But Triss helped me get it back. Actually, pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, <laughs> just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. We Do vampires the vampires are not age? To crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living eye of vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death oh. is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. Okay. Gotta ask you the big question, one everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Yeah, understand I mean, anything? Hmm. Technically, he wasn't explore. dead. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. If not for Detlef, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh. So he wasn't even dead. Mm. Indeed, it's it's hard to compare to anything I he know. He was just without a form. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. To Depends you. on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. I love this guy. Oh my gosh, I love the way he talks. Curious what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, at first I was thoroughly absorbed with Meh. recovery. As it is, I've still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon enjoying my neighbor's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? 
Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, Sir Dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Heck yeah, dude! That's a big story. Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after. And when the time was ripe, she came back. Defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh. Seems I certainly missed quite so a bit. So this is after the main game, then. Absent. True enough. But it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. Um. All right. Give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? Hmm. Oh, man. That's a, that's a tough question. Like, I don't know. Geralt seems to kind of regret a lot of things about being a witcher. But at the same time, it's something he's good at, and it's led him down a lot of experience, like cool experiences, you know, like a lot of crazy things, and he's met, like his, you know, his 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 brothers basically by doing this, you know. But I, a part of me feels like he would rather just be a normal person a lot of times. Hmm. Besides, if he could be reborn, why would he be a witcher again? You know, maybe be somebody new, somebody different. If you're reborn. That's what interests you most? Whether I'd like to be a witcher again? Many things interest me, but we've not much time left. Please answer. Never chose to be a witcher. Fate chose for me. Had it been my choice, I'd have picked a different profession. A profession where I wouldn't have to risk my life every minute of every day. Maybe even one that had earned me some respect. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave. And thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Ha, Let's dead wait a bit longer. If you return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. I mean, I kind of assume vampires don't get cold or hot. They seem a little bit different from my from what I tend to assume vampires are like. Look at those dust motes floating through the air. It's hilarious looking. You look so cool with the gravestones. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? Oh, he has no idea. Oh, there I am. I was like, where is he? Uh... Appreciate the compliment. Got something for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. Wait, it they're extinct! An abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Hmm. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly <laughs> did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... Spoons. Spoons? Spoons. Spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or well, the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Okay... Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. 
Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or, uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something... <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt, I try not to clutter my mind with the details <laughs> of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What, are your what are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse in one place. That a coincidence, or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the white's saliva. Nothing beyond Let's that. Let's go visit it. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its saliva. Are they sentient? They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing, <laughs> I thought. Uh, but the salivary glands will do fine, indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were going to make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. Bye. Maybe should I get you nicer clothes, my guy? Ooh. Okay. Read the bestiary. I love reading the bestiary. One of my favorites. Oh yeah, we got the warrior. Then the Kiki Moore princess summoned all her loyal sisters, and off they went. Together they charged the enemy, trying to harm their queen. <laughs> Uh, I might escape among monsters. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting theory. Necrophages. I guess that makes sense for a white to be a necrophage. Uh, the best defense against spotted white: is stay calm and leave them alone. <laughs> Spotted whites were a subspecies of white which the witches drove to extinction. They were larger than their unspotted kin and owed their names to the numerous blotches and effusions. Spotted whites would most often dwell in derelict cemeteries and empty wildernesses, yet at time tricked to living in abandoned human domiciles. There they would indulge in their greatest passion, creating brews from their own emissions. What? I was wondering what he was- like, he's like, they make their own brews? Like, what? And then apparently they do! When not disturbed, spotted whites would not act aggressively. If threatened, however, they become very dangerous indeed. In the colder month, or when facing, or when faced with an unseasonable chill, they would slip into a state of lethargy, making them easy targets. Even during their active periods, it is said the witchers found a surefire way of besting them, based around careful casting of the Yurden sign, or at least so claims witcher lore. So fire and the Yurden. Oh my gosh! I don't even want to look. Oh, okay. There's like something just. I, I'm actually covering it with my hand right now. I can't. Everything about it is fine except. Oh god, I can actually see it on the on the recording. I'm gonna cover it up on the recording too. Um, the mouth. The mouth is not like horrifically spiky teeth or anything, but it's there's something horrifically wrong with it. And I, it's the size or whatever, I don't even know, but my arm hurts, so I'm going to read this now. They say the dead like quiet. I don't know about the dead, but whites certainly do. Though whites are ghastly and threatening in appearance, one should not approach them with a sword drawn or attack them unprovoked. Left alone, they prevent, present no serious danger to anyone and are far more interested in mixing noxious brews and cauldrons than in fighting. The species mainly lives around ancient burial sites, so they have also been spotted near more recently found in cemeteries and wherever mass graves can be found. Whites spend the winter months in a state of lethargy very similar to human sleep. They live strictly solitary lives. In fact, it is practically unheard of for these creatures to appear in groups. Yet when they fear their territory is threatened, and it is enough for one to step foot into white's territory for it to feel threatened, whites transform into dangerous foes and even abandon their solitary ways to summon other monsters to their aid. Okay, my arm is killing me. Um, Axie as well. Alright. Okay, wow, that was just... One of the most terrifying creatures I've seen in this entire game. And it's, it's a fairly peaceful one, apparently. How nice. Um. 
Well, I think, I don't know if I'm gonna, probably will cut these ones in half. I meant to say something at like the 30 minute mark, but I guess I will call this one here. And I may spend the next little bit actually trying to pick up some Grandmaster gear. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm excited. I don't want to rush it too much. I, like, I really wanted to, like, to hang out with Regis and, like, do stuff on the main mission. But I also was told to, like, take my time and whatever. So, that's what I'll be doing. But, yes, thank you guys again for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.